Hi, welcome to another installment in the Simbit video series. Today we're going to talk about the Eval 10, which is the Enerchip CC Energy Harvesting Kit using solar. I'll explain the kit here in a second, but I wanted to kind of give you the overview of the demo setup. We've got the Eval 10 card in the solar cell here, and that's reporting back using the Texas Instruments EZ430 RF2500 wireless kit. We've got a little Zigbee network set up here. We have the end device and the access point over here plugged into the PC, and here you can see the two nodes. The red is the access point, and the yellow solar powered node is here, and we're basically reporting temperature back. So we've created a temperature sensing wireless sensor network. Let's look at the Eval 10 kit in, in uh, detail here. We'll zoom in and we'll see over here in the kit we get a solar cell and that solar cell is tied into this Easy Connect connector. What's nice there is if you want to play around with those solar cells you can go ahead and plug them in here. The input energy from the solar cell comes right into the Enerchip CC, CBC 3150 part. It not only has a 50 microamp hour rechargeable Enerchip inside but it has all of the power management circuitry as well. So the energy harvesting capabilities are actually built right in the chip. So you have a single chip drop-in solution for both power management and energy storage. In this case, the kit also has another 50 microamp hour CBC050 Ener chip for a total of 100 microamp hours. That's a really nice size because that combination will drive the MSB430 radio combo about 400 some times between when, the, when everything needs to be recharged again. So we came in solar cell. We also have some capacitors down here. You see these pins here, you can actually use this as an energy harvesting power supply or if you want to plug in a different radio combo, you can actually add more capacitors here if you need a higher boost current. This connector up on top is a nice feature. It's for an external 3.1 volt battery. So you can use a couple of alkalines here as a primary energy source and use energy harvesting for what we call battery assist. A lot of designers are using this to extend the life of their primary cell so they don't have to change the batteries. So you can actually use energy harvesting to assist the primary cell. There's also an attachment here for a 4.1 volt lithium rechargeable cell. So if for some reason you need more energy than what's available in the capacity of the two energy chips, you can add an external lithium rechargeable device and the energy chip CC will handle all that as well. So very compact package, very small, really low part count, a really low bomb cost, a great way to do solar energy harvesting. If we come back over to the screen over here, you can see again that we have the radio nodes and the information that comes back across, we're reporting the temperature, looks to be about 68 degrees or so here, so it's a little cool, but Minnesotans, we're tough. Has the node number, we may have any number of these nodes reporting back in the network along with um, you know, the reporting interval, which is every 10 seconds. The graphical user interface, as well as the code for the ED and the AP, are available in the Eval 10 kit. So you're able to go ahead and once you get the TI kit that goes along with this, from any of our distributors, and we'll talk about that in a second, you can create these networks. So again, the Eval 10 is available from our distributors. You can get it from Digikey, Mauser, or Avnet. All the information is on Simbit.com. You can get the data sheet for the Eval 10. You can get the data sheet for the CBC 3150, the Enter chip. But there's also a really good application note I'd like you to download off our website. It's AN 1036, which is Enter chip CC Energy Harvesting app note. It walks you through everything, has the schematics, has all the concepts that give you a good feel on how to do energy harvesting using the Enter chip CC device. If you have any questions, you can contact us through civit.com or give us a phone call directly and call into our apps team. They'll help you with any of their applications. So we look forward to hearing from you soon. Good luck. Take care. Thanks.